I'm in a sunny October Cartagena looking at Halberg Rassi 62 Eleander. This is a boat that we supplied from new and she's still in her original ownership. And we'll have a look around deck. She's a hard top model with all push button sailing. She's got a hydraulic furling headsail, hydraulic furling inner forestay and a hydraulic furling mainsail and hydraulic outhaul. She's got a fairly recent Elstrom Epex headsail and a, a recent Elstrom Epex fat furl main which is a fantastic sail. I think these were supplied in 2015. Hatches have always been covered and are in fantastic condition, as are furlers, bowsprit for Jenica Code Zero, stainless steel chain, so you can have additional chain uh, that will still self stow in a large chain locker, plenty of derayed vents, six derayed vents on deck, so permanent fixed ventilation, perfect in a uh, Mediterranean setting like this, or even in October, we're well up into the 20s. That, that she has plenty of opening hatches as well, not to mention opening port lights in the superstructure. So, you saw earlier she's uh, a hard top version. Actually, whilst on the subject of rigging, she has Navtech rod rigging and the rod rigging was also replaced in 2015. Uh, hard top version, opening front section, but excellent protection in the cockpit from all elements of the weather, uh, be it uh, storms, wind and spray, or sunshine as we are today. Part of the push button sailing ethos, all the winches in the cockpit are powered all of the sail area can be set, reefed and furled away from the helm position. Um, everything is, is accessible there from headsail sheets, main sheet, secondary winches and all controlled from buttons on the deck next to them. The pedestal has been a little bit redesigned. The teak top has been replaced with a more durable material and also incorporated controls for the navigation systems and forward navigation, not forward, uh, forward looking echo sounder and echo pilot, all of which are available on the two large computer screens in the cockpit, um, beautifully installed and perfect for the job, waterproof, multi input, uh, glass screened, aluminium bodied monitors. Uh, you've also obviously got multifunction displays here and autopilot control, secondary controls for the windlass um, uh, and isolation for the bow thruster. The cockpit was re-varnished in 2015, beautifully re-varnished and still in pretty well near perfect condition, hard to fault. ST70 Plus displays over the companionway, two multifunction displays and an I-50 wind for an analog wind display. Glass holders, varnish work in the hard top, still in perfect condition. Glass fibre, shining and Again, showing that care has been lavished on this boat in her current ownership. Going below deck. Standard Halbo Rassi layout, chart table and galley, directly at the bottom of the companionway, so easily accessed for the crew. Um, a, a large navigation station, a double seat for the navigation station with an armrest for extra security. 
large chart plotter display, again, using Time Zero as its main navigation system on board the boat. Large multifunction display for the all navigation monitors. Uh, there's another autopilot control down here and an array of other instruments. We also have an SSB, which is currently decommissioned, um, but can readily be recommissioned. And a John Boy automatic control to, to switch, the, switch the John Boy launching system off down here, so it can't be inadvertently set off when, uh, when the boat's in harbor. Um, uh, radar detector at the masthead, uh, Echo Max radar detector, satellite phone, um, and standard marine VHF. Rather an extensive panel because there's rather an extensive inventory of electronics on this boat. Great stowage in the bookshelves behind the navigation station, perfect for the boat's logs, uh, firing system for the, for the machinery on board the boat, and of course pilot books. Moving to the galley, she has a combination uh, microwave and fan oven, uh, which has been the main uh, cooking appliance on the boat. She does, of course, have a standard Force 10 gas system with three burners on the hob and a gas oven below. In addition to that, she has uh, uh, an induction hob avoiding having to find different types of gas bottles in different countries as you as you travel around but the gas system is perfectly serviceable unusually for a Halberg Rassi 62 she has a front opening fridge and it is a very big fridge so front opening fridge uh, which is significantly bigger than the standard fridge would have been and in addition to the front opening element you still have the traditional top opening part as well so uh, very well covered for fridge space and in addition you have a freezer which will be on a dual thermostat so that you can uh, you can use it either as a freezer as it's being used at the moment uh, or you can use it as an additional fridge if you don't need the extra freezer space plenty of stowage in the galley a great galley for um, for, for a seagoing boat, you can brace yourself comfortably in the galley. Another special for this boat, a, a machined Corian, built-in Corian draining board. Again, plenty of stowage all around the galley. Big areas for dinner plates, small areas for bits and pieces, of, uh, and then open areas and closed areas. So lots of stowage. open and closed stowage in the aft cabin. Three opening ports in the superstructure, two there, one behind me. There's very little air outside and, and it's a hot day, but I've got enough breeze coming into this aft cabin through those opening windows just to keep, to keep the temperature comfortable. But of course she also has a large opening Lumar deck hatch and again a large opening Lumar deck hatch in very good condition unscathed by the Mediterranean sun. Two hanging lockers in the aft cabin, two good sized hanging lockers and a uh, chart stowage suitable for a, a world folio of charts. So now we come to the engine room of particular interest in this boat as she's a boat that uh, does get used. She has plenty of electronics on board the boat and electrics to use power, but she has an appropriately sized 12 kilowatt generator. It's a, a low revving diesel generator traditional sort um, and she has a Perkins Sabre main engine which is uh, um, 
again a torquey low revving engine very suited to a sailing boat and has proved very reliable um, the she has a, a big inverter a five kilowatt inverter mounted on the forward bulkhead battery chargers um, charging both 24 and 12 volt battery banks she's got um, a, s a crossover switch on the on the primary fuel filters so if there's any issue with fuel contamination you have an instant uh, switch over to a new clean oil filter until you get to the uh, until you get the opportunity to check out your fuel or clean your fuel primary filters for the water maker chlorifier um, power packs for the hydraulics for the main furling hydraulics we have a Selden power pack. Um, the motors were renewed very recently. And then we have a, a separate Selden power pack for the uh, uh, hydraulic outhaul ram. Then we come to the air conditioning. We have three compressors. Uh, it's a, a chilled water air conditioning system, independent control for, um, for each cabin or each, each living space on the boat, saloon, aft cabin, three forward cabins. Two calorifiers on board, so plenty of hot water. And a Whitlock drive member autopilot drive. So that's Eliander, a 2007 Halberg Rassi 62. She's being sold as a complete turnkey sail away boat. Everything that the boat normally has is included in her in her inventory. Her normal cruising inventory will be sold complete with dinghies, outboards, life jackets, uh, everything but personal items will stay on board the boat. She'll even come with a full tank of fuel, significant values worth of uh, diesel in the tanks. Um, and uh, she's lying in Cartagena. And anybody who's interested in a large offshore cruising boat, um, I would strongly recommend coming to have a look at Eliander. She is a beautiful example of a Halberg Rassi 62.